guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would take you through a day in the life of my skincare. So we start in the morning, I show you my morning routine and then we come back at night and I take it all off and show you my nighttime routine. I forgot to do an intro so here it is. My skin at the moment, I'm just dead chuffed with it and I've been getting a few requests and a few questions about my routine so I thought it would be easier and I suppose more informative if I was to film it and share it this way. So I hope you guys like it. So if you'd like to see what my routine is and please stay tuned it's the morning where's my coffee I've got it I've got it I've got it so you can see this is my skin it's really happy at the moment it's a little bit dry the weather outside is super cold so we have our central heating on a lot which can dry out your skin so I do make a bit more of an effort to to hydrate my skin during times like this for the record my skin is normal to combination I can get oily I can get dry but it's never too far in the other direction also, you don't have to get all the stuff that I use. This is just what I'm using that's really worked. I think this is probably the best my skin's ever been in my life. And I think it's because of the combination of what I'm using, what kind of products I'm using, but also how I apply them and how and how I work them into my skin. So the first thing I'm going to use, and you can see that this is nearly done, this is the Darfan Intral Redness Relief Soothing Serum. So this is just like a really gentle hydrator. It's nice some calming on the skin as well. I've got two pumps. I work that into my palms and I press in. I pretty much press in all of my products at the start anyway. It's going to go around my nose and this kicks off the hydration. Kicks off the hydration in our skin and I do use that morning and night. Now I'm going to go in with my hyaluronic acid. This is from the Inky List. I have tried super affordable hyaluronic serums and I've tried super expensive hyaluronic serums. I think this Inky List one's really good. The only thing that I don't love, love, love is the component. You have to click the lid open like that and pour it out. So sometimes I have too much. But really other than that, I think it's really good. I suppose it's all just about the experience. I think that with luxury products you do get a luxury experience and with slightly more inexpensive products you get simple but effective experience. It's great. Okay, hyaluronic's done. So my skin feels quite sticky. This serum, it's quite amazing. This is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. I take seven drops of this morning and night. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Literally just rub it in to my fingertips, pat that on. This serum's a bit of a blend of everything that your skin needs, apparently. That's how they market it and that's how they sell it. So they say that you only need to use this serum if you're using serums. I don't just use this serum, but if you think about it, like my two serums that I've just used are just all about hydration, which is what my skin really needs. And then this, I know it has niacinamide in it. It has Augustinus Bader's like signature blend that is amazing for anti-aging and age prevention and pore size, dark spots. It's like everything. It's everything. It is really good. It's just expensive. And then after that, I do my moisturizer. So moisturizer, I'm more fickle with. I suppose my only rule is during the day I go for something a tiny bit lighter and then at night time I go in with something a little bit richer. So this is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser from Glow Recipe. It's beautiful under makeup. It's really nice. I have been trying out a few different things and then I just kind of rub that in. Do you see? Super glowy. And do you know what? The hyaluronic acid and all the serums underneath, what they've done is they've, can you see that? They've left my skin super hydrated but a little bit sticky which is quite nice especially if you're wearing makeup. Now the thing that has completely changed the game for me, I think that putting my products on by patting them on and being really gentle with my skin and taking my time to do my skincare routine, I think that's really helped. I don't overload my skin with product anymore. I think that when it comes to actives and and, you know serums that are quite potent and quite strong I used to go in with like a full pipette and then all over my face you don't need to do that read the bottle and if it says three to five drops use three to five drops so that's something that's changed also if my skin looks like it is starting to get irritated or maybe a bit red I will take out one of the the serums in, in my routine that are active and I'll just stick to the really really um hydrating soothing ingredients I say that there's only two serums that have got actives in 
in them that I use kind of every day, one of which you'll see later. But I, another thing that I think has completely changed my skin and also how, like, my neck and things, giving myself a little bit of a facial massage every day. So you don't need to use this one. I have got a few oils that I love, um, which I'll list below. I'll just list all the oils that I really like. But this one is amazing. This is the Face Gym Detox signature face oil so face gym for anyone that doesn't know it's a place you can go and get a facial but it's not like a normal facial it's quite active it's like a workout for your face and it's amazing it's so good so i take more than they say of this oil i get quite a lot because i do my whole neck as well so i'm going to rub my hands together you see and then i'm going to start with my neck i'm going to just apply a bit going down and then and this oil is super lightweight it's not going to block your pores and what i do is i start i get my hands my hands are always quite cold so it's quite nice but i just quite vigorously massage my face and i do a lot of lifting stuff so see if i show you Face Gym actually have like an app where you can go and see exactly what to do. I just do what feels nice. Like see these glands down here? Mines can get quite um, inflamed I guess. Just I used to get sick all the time. I don't know if you remember. I'm not well. <laughs> I used to get sick all the time. I really don't anymore. But I do give my neck a little massage because I mean if I'm not doing this then who else is? Who's getting everything moving? Nobody. Can't go for a facial just now. So I really push down here and then I work up the way. And like I said, I'm not a professional, so see if I'm doing anything wrong, just let me know. There are like amazing videos with facial massage and stuff, but I've just found that this works really well for me. So I like it. So I go up here, I kind of go in with my knuckles. And then I get quite a sore jaw. Um, I don't know if any of you are the same, but I clench my jaw when I'm sleeping. And quite often through the day, I can find myself just sitting like this, clenching my jaw. So I give my jaw a nice massage, drain all the baddies. And I just do it everywhere. And I, I do take my time to do this as well, but it's so fun. It's so fun. And afterwards, I feel like my face is less puffy. I usually get quite a strong color in my skin as well, just because everything's moving. And I just think it's such a fun thing to do for yourself. Something that I've noticed is less puffiness in my face. When I do this morning and night, I have a lot less puffiness, which is great. And I think the most important thing is when you're when you're massaging your face, just make sure you're always going up the way. Don't drag your skin down. Don't go too heavy around the eye area. And I know a lot of people say you always have to go up on your neck, but to drain these glands, you have to massage down the way. And I'm gonna get a little bit more oil. One of my favorite things to do is go up and then see down my neck. And sometimes I even go into my shoulders because especially we can't get massages or anything in this. I did this last night for like 10 minutes. Just gave my, my shoulders and my neck a massage and had such a good sleep from it. And there we go. Lovely. All right, last thing for during the day. So I used to do this day and night. You don't need to do it day and night. But I use... Revital Lash and what I've found is if I do it at night time sometimes my eyes stream which means that the product will go on my cheeks which will make my cheeks hairy. Very bizarre. Um, but I've got Revita Brow as well. Now they sent me Revita Brow and I bought Revital Lash. I think I'm on my second bottle of Revital Lash. For me, I don't think I've ever seen such good results. I do use castor oil as well. I think castor oil does work by itself. I use castor oil because using Revital Lash can make your lashes grow really long, but it can make them quite brittle as well. So using castor oil just keeps everything hydrated. I just love my Revital Lash. I think it's made my lashes really nice and thick and long. And then during the day, I don't use castor oil because it would make everything really slippy. I know that I've used an oil, but see that oil, it just sinks in and then you can do your makeup. But I just get a little spoolie. This is the best spoolie in the world. This is the, the Smith Cosmetics one. It's huge. And I just brush that through my brows. And my brows are nice and thick now. And yeah, that's my morning routine. So I think the most important thing, oh my God, no it's not, I've not done my SPF. SPF is something that again, I'm quite fickle. I like trying new things, but I really love this one here. This is the Sun Project Water Sun Cream. It's an SPF 50. Uh, I think the brand's called Thank You Farmer. And I take quite a lot of that on my hand, get it in my fingers, and then I just pat that on so it's dispersed evenly. And even though we live in the most ridiculously gloomy <laughs> country, 
It's still need to put your SPF. What I like about it is it's really lightweight, it sinks in, it does not break me out. My skin's quite resilient, but sometimes th things can break me out and SPF is one of them. But that one's great. I love that it's an SPF 50. I love that I don't need to think about my makeup products having SPF or my moisturiser or whatever. It's just something else to do it for me. So I used quite a lot there. I would say it was about like the size of like a 20 pence piece. Oh my god. I can't remember the last time I saw a 20 pence. And then if I'm not wearing makeup, I will use my U tan. Actually, I'll probably just use it anyway. This is the only reason that my skin is not like pale green. This, it's so good. And I know that I made it, so I'm biased, but it is brilliant. It's the U-Tan Jamie Genevieve um, CBD tanning water in 50% darker, I really love. And that is me. Let me see if I can take you. Just to explain why the lighting is so weird. We've got snow again, a lot of snow. So everything just looks really blue. There we go, there you can see exactly what my skin's looking like. Still got some scarring. I still get the like occasional wee blemish and things like that, of course. I think for me the most important thing is that my, my skin texture is super smooth because it means that when I'm not wearing makeup, my skin that looks really nice and, and soft and smooth, but when I wear makeup as well, it looks flawless because there's no texture under my skin. Um, I say texture, of course my skin has texture, but I mean like there's no dry patches or roughness. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think I think the most important thing in the morning is hydrating serums and moisturiser and SPF, that's, that's kind of it if you break it down and I think that if you want a really simple routine, just a hyaluronic acid and a moisturiser and an SPF is perfect. I think that's a really nice place to start. And yeah, I'm going to go, I have work to do, I need to go and, I'm going to go and do my makeup and then I'll be back later to take my makeup off and talk you through nighttime routine and show you a couple of face masks that have changed my life. Oh my god, I'm so fresh. Hello, excuse the bathroom lighting, but it's time to take her makeup off. So I've done my work, it's time to take my makeup off. I thought I would film it. So it's an immersive experience. Put my hoops out, I've got my watch and stuff off and I'm gonna get my hair out my face. I'm actually just gonna tie it all up. Lashes, I always pull from the outer corner. Um, I just feel like it's more comfortable. To remove the makeup, I am obsessed. This, how much, I think I might be like half done. This is the Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It has, I'm sure it's got, yep, sweet almond in it, so if you've got a nut allergy, I think you need to look out for that. Five pumps, just because I wear quite a bit of makeup, and we're gonna oh, dissolve this face. Now, I apply this, and I just, I really take my time to work it into my skin and break down everything. If you're wearing makeup during the day, you'll you'll do this anyway, this step to remove your makeup, but if you're wearing SPF every day and no makeup, you still need to make sure you cleanse it off. You do not want that SPF sitting on your skin through the night. Something that I do, and I only started doing it like last year, is double cleansing. Um, I know some people say that there's no difference, but for me, it definitely makes a difference. I'm gonna wet my hands. Oh God, wait, I need to wait for the hot water. Because it's an oil cleanser, it gets rid of everything. It gets rid of makeup, mascara, everything. And then I go in with water. I emulsify with some water. I think that's the right curve. Go right over my eyes, my brows. Best thing on the planet, face halo. I don't use face halos without a cleanser first. I use the face halo like a tiny face cloth to remove my cleanser and it's really good for removing masks as well. I know people get really annoyed with me for how not gentle I am around my eyes. I'm trying to work on that. Okay, first cleanse is done. Time for a second cleanse. I love this Tatcha rice wash. I've finished it and I'm trying to find somewhere where I can buy more because I think Tatcha is quite difficult to get in the UK, but holy shit, this is amazing. But I'm gonna use the CeraVe uh, foaming cleanser. So this one's for normal to dry oily skin, but I really like it on my combo skin. And this is gonna be our second cleanse. So I just make sure that I get my face. <laughs> And down my neck. I need a bit of water to lather this up. And I just spend like 60 seconds getting right in there. And then I just use the same face halo to remove that. There is not one bit of makeup left on my face. Clean, clean, clean skin. So we're fresh. I'm a wee bit red around my eyes just from getting my makeup off, but that goes away in like two seconds. And let's go and do the rest of my nighttime routine. 
nighttime routine, super similar to my daytime routine, which is quite nice. It means that I can use the same product. So I use the Darfan and the Inky List just the same as the morning. And I also use the Victoria Beckham Serum the same way I use it in the morning, I use that at night. The, pretty much the only difference is I use my SkinCeuticals Serum 10. So this is a dual antioxidant treatment with 10% L-absorbic acid, uh, which is vitamin C, and ferulic acid. So this is a preventative serum, which is good. I've actually just looked it up because I do want to tell you what this does to skin. Good for preventing free radical damage and photo-aging while actively stimulating collagen production to plump fine lines and wrinkles on the surface. Once applied, it stays on the skin all day and remains efficient for 72 hours making it a great partner to any sunscreen so i've been using this at the wrong time i'm such a clown so this is why you should read your bottles and the instructions so i've been using this at night time and actually it's better during the day but i mean it's working so i'm just going to continue to do it at night maybe i'll change it later okay skin is super fresh and clean my eyes are still a bit like irritated from washing my face but we'll ignore that I'm going to go in with the Darfan Serum and again we're just going to pat that in. I'm just going to go in with my Hyaluronic Acid, the same one, the Inky List. It's worth mentioning that if I was to do a face mask, I would do it after what I just cleaned my face with. I would always do a face mask at night time usually, um, just so my skin's not too sensitive if I'm out and about during the day. I love that feeling, you know, fresh, clean skin and then a face mask and then when I remove my face mask, I think it's just like when my skin's the best to receive said face mask. I will show you my two all-time favourites. Three, four, five, six, seven. Going in with my Victoria Beckham after my hyaluronic acid. Again, just patting it on. And I used to run out of serums really quickly, but it's because I was using too much of them. So I've been using this Victoria Beckham one for, I think, like a couple of months and look. Because I just used seven drops. I only used seven drops of that morning and night. And then the Serum 10, one, two, three, four, five drops of that. I am gonna, so I'm gonna start using that during the day instead. But it is so nice. For my moisturiser, I like changing it up with my moisturiser. One of my favourite, richer moisturisers if you've got dry skin is the Ulla Henriksen Double Cream. The C-Rush Brightening Double Cream. It's super thick and moisturising. I love as well, I love this Banana Souffle Moisturiser from Glow Recipe. Is it? Banana Souffle Moisture Cream, yeah. So see this one? Oh my god, it smells like foam bananas. And it's super... Hydrating. It's quite fun as well because it smells like bananas. Oh my god. Oh, see that? Oh my god, my face smells like foam banana. And then again, I bring that down my neck. Wow. Glowing skin. And then, same as the morning, I do the exact same thing with my facial oil. The face gym one. Like I said, I'll list other oils that I really like down below, but I think with oils, the, the kind of lighter, the better. Nothing too heavy. And again, I'm just rubbing that in. Put a little bit on my face and then I put the excess down my neck. And something, at night time, I probably spend a little bit more time doing this. It just is like a lovely treat. And I go right up behind my ears and massage my neck down. I give my neck a wee massage. Sometimes if I've had a busy day on my laptop, my neck can be quite stiff. So I just spend a little bit of time going over my shoulders, bringing that down. And then, again, kind of going up in my face, under my chin, and then bringing that down my neck. I know that you've got pressure points here that help drain any fluid in your face. I've been taught that by a facialist, I can't remember who. But just honestly, you look it up, there's so many more people on YouTube and, and other places online that are way more qualified than me. But I just like doing what feels nice. And there's loads of different tools you can use as well for this, this step. And then, after that, I always use my U-tan every single night. The only, the only thing that can happen, if you're like me, I somehow, I always touch my face with one finger. So see if I've got an itch, I must use my, my finger like this or like this. I get one tanned finger. Do you see that? Actually, you can kind of tell. So if you do this, 
like trying not to touch your face so much. It's weird because I don't really get tan on my pillows or anything like that. You really can't tell. And you know what's quite nice? Look, you can see that my body's all glowy. Sometimes if you just spray the tanning water and you've got like a thin strap top on, you can kind of tan your chest and your body at the same time. It works really well. Like my legs right now look like corned beef. But my upper half, it looks like I've been sitting outside in the sun. It's perfect. Sunless tan, it is the way forward. I actually don't think that I'll tan my face anymore because I don't need to because I've got my my spray for my face and it means that my skin will stay nice, nice and young. Last step is castor oil. Uh, I made this out of a castor oil that I bought off Cult Beauty and I bought mascara tubes from Amazon and I just put castor oil in this and it works really well. I do this every night. So I do go to bed looking quite um, greasy. I mean, I would say dewy. We are borderline greasy over here. And I do my little bottom lashes and then I do my top lashes. And because I did Revita Lash this morning and Revita Brow, I won't do it again. Apparently, it doesn't make a difference and you're essentially just kind of wasting your product, really. So, something else worth mentioning is when I think my skin needs it, I will use an acid toner like your Ulla Henriksen Glow 2 O is amazing. Uh, I know a lot of people love the Pixi glow tonic. I know a lot of people love the Ren one. Basically it's like an acid toner so whatever one works for your skin. I mean my personal favourite is the Ulla Henriksen. I really do love it. I used to use it every single night. I don't do that anymore. And I think that the, the best way for me to keep my skin smooth in texture and nice and clear is by using a resurfacing face mask. One of my favourites is the Ulla Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. You'll have seen me use this before. It's that pink mask that goes, I'll show you the texture of it or what waste. So it's this pink colour and then when you start rubbing it in, it goes white. You leave it on 15 minutes and then you wash it off and what you're left with is the most glowy, smooth skin. It is absolutely amazing. And then recently, really recently, Drunk Elephant, their THC Sucari Baby Facial was kind of accepted into Europe. So for a really long time you could only get this in America and I remember buying it for the first time five years ago. I used it sparingly, then I ran out, and it is amazing. It's 25% AHA, which is strong. So see, when you put it on, if you've got any blemishes or, or any sensitive areas, it kind of tingles to the point of it hurting a little bit. But you put that on, leave it for 20 minutes, and what you're left with is all the dead skin literally off. <laughs> it's pretty intense, I would say, but it is amazing. It's so good. So I think for me, face masks like these are the best. And then when it comes to hydration, there's loads of masks out there that are that are great. But I think that as far as like results, these two are the best. And I know that the baby facial, you can get it on Cult Beauty now. A lot of people are waiting on that face mask coming in. And I guess that's it. That's what I've been doing. So not a crazy amount of products. I think once upon a time, I, I would have used more products and um, more serums and more acids and more all these these kind of different things but I'm really happy with with how this is all working I will continue to like change things up and try new things so I can show you how they work at the moment I would say that this is all like my my favorite stuff that's working really well so here is a close-up I'm trying to get a good light of my skin it's just super glowy I think that massaging with the oil really helps I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I wanted to do it vlog style just so I could show you, you know, how I'm applying each thing. I guess my, my routine, my day and night routine. I'll make sure and list everything that I spoke about down below along with any other products that I really recommend. And then if there are any, you know, other products that you guys think would work just as well as what I use, please pop them down below just in case someone else is looking for an alternative. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh god, I've got an itchy nose. I end up it all over the floor. Get out of my neck. This camera's a bit janky. And then, oh god, it's just so hard. I look a bit red. Ugh, this is not good. That's not good either. Wow, my eyes look really red. Oh my god, I swear they don't look like that really. Right, I'll just put you your inner little shell. Your inner shell. Clean as a baby's bum.
Is that, that's not the saying, clean as a baby's bum. Hey, fresh as a baby. Oh my God, it feels so good. Oh, Juno, get lost, get out of here. Oh look, I've got allergies. Oh look, you can see the revitalized working. Drunk, oh God, I've got this all over my freaking hand. I need to go wash my hands. Ugh.